Hi guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to continue to learn Linux Mint. And in this video, I would like to show you how to change thumbnails in File Explorer in Linux Mint in Cinnamon Edition. It might work the same way in other editions as well, but it all depends what File Explorer you got installed. In Cinnamon Edition, by default, there is Nemo File Explorer installed. So we're going to do it in Nemo. As an example, I have opened up the downloads folder. It should look the same way on your computer. And as you can see, I have got three files here, which are JPEG images. Right now you can see the size type, but what if I want to see it in large thumbnail or in tiles? Can I do this in Linux as in Windows? And the answer is yes, you can do it. No problem. And it is actually quite simple. It actually gives you more freedom than Windows. And this is what Linux is known for. So you can see there are icons here on the top. So the first one is the icon view. If you click on it, it's going to show you the icons of the pictures that you can click on. And preview this picture here. It is a pretty large one. It's a 29 megabyte, super high resolution. But yeah, this is uh, another one. Then the second one is the list view. And this is what we had before. You might have it set it up like this by default. And then the last one is compact view. If you click on it, it will just show you the file name and a little tiny picture icon that you can actually see what file it is. If it's a JPEG, you can actually see a little picture. If it will be a different file, like a text file, it will just show a little icon. But anyway, I prefer to use it like this so I can actually see the icon. But another cool thing about this Nemo file explorer in Linux Mint is that on the bottom here, you can see there's a just zoom level and this will let you zoom in and out the size of the pictures, just like in some professional video editing software or other programs that you can vary it how big or small you want the thumbnails to be. As you can see, when I go up, this is a super large icon. It's basically like a whole picture. Like you can definitely see it, no problem. And yeah, you can find the one that you like. Then if I go down, it this is a large one. This one's a pretty large one. This is normal size. Then you get smaller and smaller until you get very small pictures without no names, which I don't think will be very easy to find. But you know, if you got lots of them, maybe it will be helpful somehow. Then I also want to show you another tip. For example, if you're using it on an older computer that doesn't have much hardware resources and it makes it lag a little bit, you can make it easier for this machine. If you go to the view menu, and then you just untick this show thumbnails. This will make it just a standard thumbnail and it's not going to have to generate a custom thumbnail for each file, which will make it easier on that machine. So this will be very helpful for all the machines. And of course, we don't want to forget about shortcuts. This will make our life a lot quicker and easier and more efficient. So you can switch between icon view, list view, compact view, just with a combination of a few keys on the keyboard. So for the icon view, we press Ctrl plus one, for the list view, Ctrl plus two, and for the compact view, Ctrl plus three. You can zoom in and out with Ctrl plus plus and zoom out with Ctrl plus minus. And just to show the normal size, we press Ctrl zero. Let's check it out. Okay, now I'm gonna press Ctrl plus two. We got the list view, Ctrl plus three. We got the compact view, Ctrl plus one. We got an icon view. Then I can also increase them and decrease them. So it is super convenient. And then I just change it to the normal side, Ctrl plus zero. There you have it. This is super simple and it has more possibilities than Windows for sure. And there are lots of other different settings such as arrange items, show hidden files, enable, disable menu bar, status bar. We're not going to concentrate on this in this video, but if you're interested, let me know in the comment section below and we'll look at it later. But yeah, anyway, this is it, guys. I hope you find this video helpful. If you like this kind of videos, let me know in the comment section below. And if you're first time to the channel, take a second to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. Also, if you find this video helpful, please support with a like. I appreciate it very much. And if you want to learn more about Linux Mint, I got a whole playlist of helpful Linux videos. So make sure to check it out if you're interested. I'm sure you're going to find something 
that will help your Linux Mint experience even better than it is. But this is it for today. Hope you have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.